hey guys what's up welcome back to it's about everything so in today's episode i'm going to show you how you can desolder smd components from the surface of a circuit board without the use of a hot air blow gun or a hot air gun just by using a halogen lamp so here i'm using a 60 55 watt halogen lamp that it fits in cars you cannot use bulbs that fits on scooters because that is only 35 watt but this one is 55 60 watt so higher the wattage it's better so i'm using the filament with the shield that is used for the low beam and it redirects and focuses all the radiation in one spot so you can see i have placed the circuit board right below the shield and um, as it heats up i used a tweezer to take the component and place it aside now highly recommend using a sunglass or if it's necessary then a welding goggle because the intensity of the light is really bright and your eyes might hurt so i'm using a welding goggle and under the welding goggle it's completely clear and i can easily see all the components and everything and the light appears really dim so it has two filament every uh, halogen lamp that fits in vehicles cars bikes scooters all of them have two filaments one is for the high beam and one is for the low beam so the low beam uses a shield right next to the filament that actually shades uh, the filament so here that shield actually uh, directs the radiation in one direction downward and so the brightness doesn't uh, comes into my eyes directly plus it also heats up the components really fast so i prefer using halogen lamp that is uh, 60 watt 55 watt but you can also use halogen lamp of 35 watt as well it will take a little bit longer time to uh, melt the solder so here you can see all the components are removed and it was really easy so you can see the bulb i have soldered two wires into the halogen lamp so that it becomes easy for me to connect it to the battery so this is the bridge rectifier that was on this led lamp uh, circuit and i've also removed that using the same technique so this is the first smd that i tried to remove and i pushed it too much uh, pushed it too much and i did that before before the solder melted and that led chip broke off so you need to really wait for a little bit before the solder melts so this is the welding goggle that i was using so as i was saying the solder melts really slowly so you need to wait for a couple of seconds and you need to uh, use the tweezer and try to move uh, the component slightly and if it's melted then you will see that it's moving and you can easily pick it up but if you do it in a hurry and try to grab it and pull it then it might break and that's why one of the smd component one of the smd led was damaged due to that so this is the rating 12 volt 50 watt 55 watt 60 watt halogen lamp and i've used the front filament with the shield that is used for low beam so i was holding it right next to the component that i want to disorder which is right over here do not touch the halogen lamp with the component because I did that in the beginning and that actually melted the SMD LED a little bit and that's why it broke off. I tried in a hurry to pull it out and it broke off. So you need to make sure that it, the bulb does not touches the SMD components and you pick it up slowly and wait for the solder to melt. So this is a simple DIY technique if you don't have an, a, a solder a desoldering hot air gun then you can use this DIY technique there are other DIY techniques as well but this is the simplest so thanks a lot for watching guys I hope you enjoyed this video hit the like button subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends I'll see you soon have a nice day take care bye bye